The little green beetle is a fantastic terrestrial pattern. I would say it's one of my favorites. I use it at high mountain lakes and anywhere else I think a terrestrial should be thrown. Anywhere. This fly has to be in your box. I have so much confidence in it. And even on a river where everybody is throwing really big bugs like grasshoppers or huge beetles, this little green beetle will produce fantastically. If you want to tie along, the recipe is in the description below. Start by securing your thread to the hook and wrap it back to the bend of the hook. Snip off the excess thread. First, let's add the body. Because we want the shiny green part to face up, secure it facing down on the hook. Do your best to secure it to the top of the shank. One quick loose wrap with the thread will keep it in place, then cinch it down to hold it there. Be slow with the first security wrap, otherwise you risk cutting right through the foam with your thread. Each wrap should be nice and secure. This will keep the foam from rolling on the shank. Now it's time to add the ice dub to the underbody. In this video, I chose caddis green, but really, go with whatever gives you the most confidence. Dub it on your thread and make a small dubbing ball for the back section of your fly. Be sure to finish your dub ball with the thread moving forward. Now pull over the green foam and secure it down. Notice that as I apply pressure to the thread to secure the foam, I also pinch the foam with my fingers. This will help with preventing the thread from slicing right through the foam. Once secure, pull the foam back and wrap your thread directly on the shank of the hook forward to about that two-thirds point. Now pull the foam back down and secure it down on the shank. Once more, adding that little pinch as you tighten your thread. Once tightened, secure down the foam to create a midsection. Pull the foam back and bring your thread in front of the foam. Now dub on some black ice dub to the thread to create the head of the fly. Just a small amount of dubbing will do. Be sure to leave room behind the eye of the hook after completing your dub ball. With your thread just behind the eye, bring your foam forward and secure down the foam to finish the head. Pull back the foam and make a few security wraps under the foam just behind the eye of the hook. To make things easier, secure your thread and snip it off. You could always bring your thread back to the center of the fly because that's where we're going next. Also, when snipping off the excess foam, give it a little tug as you snip it. This way there's not a flap of foam to cover the eye of the hook. Once your thread is secured to the center, it's time to add some legs. Secure down two rubber legs to the fly. Keep the wraps loose just in case you need to adjust the legs on either side. Once secure, it's time for the last part of the fly. High vis foam makes for a great cider on this little beetle fly. Secure it down on top of the fly. And once secure, snip down the indicator foam so that it's just a beacon of visible hope. Now secure your thread and snip off the excess. And there it is, your little green beetle.